Hello. Happy Doctor Who Day. <laughs> this has been something which I have been wanting to talk about for a while, and Doctor Who Day seems like the perfect excuse. For me, Doctor Who is one of the most important shows for children. I'm not saying that it's a children's show, I'm just saying that it is made knowing that children will watch it. Although I will happily argue that Doctor Who is a children's show, the truth is that it doesn't really matter. It's not like the show is going to change into some CBBS type thing if you change your mind. The reason why most people say Doctor Who isn't a children's show is because of the dark scenes in it. And there is some genuinely horrific stuff in Doctor Who. There's some stuff which I won't even expect horror films to touch on. But that is why I am happy for it to be a children's show. Children are not stupid and in fact, they have never been stupid. I'm a huge believer that teenagers and children are the most self-aware generation to ever exist. With the amount of stress and changes in their life every one of them is going through, and with social media forcing a generation to see themselves as both an entertainer and a viewer, which would give them an incredibly self-aware view on themselves, it would be idiotic to see them as stupid. And I loved Doctor Who when I was a three-year-old because of that. I understood most of what was going on. I wasn't lost at all, I was completely fine. The show allowed me to explore concepts such as war, PTSD, death, even depression. Unlike every other show on television which shielded me from the sad side of the world because I was deemed too stupid to understand it. I was expected to go along with the idea that this world is nothing but happy, colourful and peaceful. I just have to wait till some unspecified age until I'm worthy enough to think about death. When you begin to think about it, it's actually quite scary and worrying that that stuff is hidden from you at such an early age. You really should be allowed to see those types of things at any age. It's how we all process things over time. Putting a lock on that stuff is a worrying system, but Doctor Who let me see that stuff and it let me understand it. And that's not the only thing it taught little me. <laughs> I hate saying this, but there is definitely a pressure to sort of not show feelings or femininity when you're a man. Did I say that right? Femininity. Femininity. It's obviously not as bad as some women issues, but there is a reason why male suicide is higher than it has ever been, and it, it's still rising, <laughs> so there's something wrong with it. I grew up watching the Ninth and Tenth Doctor, and seeing those characters really gave me the confidence to enjoy and express my feelings. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels that way. It really defined the type of person who I aim to be. It's really weird to think how much Russell T Davis changed who I am. For me, I don't think a female doctor could come at a better time. I've arguably grown up a bit since then. I don't need that sort of guidance anymore. So it doesn't feel like I'm losing a role model or anything. I mean, obviously Tenant's Doctor still exists. I could just rewatch the episodes any moment now. In fact, I think losing Tenant's Doctor was a brilliant way for me to understand losing somebody you love firsthand. It sounds cheesy, but it's true. <laughs> I just love knowing that Whittaker's Doctor is teaching people about the world in the same way that I learned from the show. I think that's why Series 11 felt like Doctor Who again for me. Seven-year-old me would be very proud of Series 11, and I like to think he'll be proud enough of who I am right now. And that's all thanks to this silly little British show. Nobody has ever made the argument that Doctor Who is the highest quality thing in the universe, but don't you ever diss it. <laughs> Because that is my show, that, that is our show. Insulting the show would mean insulting who I have become. And come on, it's mean to insult somebody, you know? I'm enjoying liking myself again. I don't know how long that'll be for, but it's nice. Anyway, that was my nostalgic lovey-dovey rant. <laughs> Subscribing helps small channels like me, please. I think I paid 50 subscribers actually, which was a nice little thing. Liking a video also, of course, really helps. Uh, goodbye.